Hi, this is Susan, and this is a tutorial on Google Analytics and creating custom reports. So when you come to your uh, Google Analytics tracking, you'll have your dashboard here, and on the left side you'll see custom reporting. So when you click on this, um, you'll land on this create a new custom report page, and you'll click here, and it will load this page which shows the metrics and the dimensions. And so for this tutorial purpose, we're going to create three different types of custom reports. The first one is going to be what I'm going to call at the top here, content check. Two thousand eleven. Okay, and in the metrics, we're going to put in new visits, bounces, and time on page. And then we're going to scroll down and in the dimensions we're going to put page title and search term. And then we're going to ask it to create the report. Hi, this is Susan and here is the Content Check 2011 report for March 9th through April 10th. And in this we will see the top page titles and the new visits, the bounces, and the time on the site. So it created the report of exactly what I wanted to know as far as the content check. Okay, so this is going to be the second report and in this one I want to measure where the traffic is coming from so we're going to create one that's going to be called Traffic Sources for 2011. Apply and in this one we want to measure unique visitors and time on site and then in the dimensions we're going to put in source and referral path. And now we're going to create that report. And here is the Traffic Sources 2011 report for March 9th through April 10th. And you'll see it's, uh, it says 456 unique visitors and it's split uh, with the Google being at the top and um, see where the success, Facebook, Twitter, um, and it's showing all the top 10 um, sources, unique visitors, and the time on the site for the particular places where people came from. So uh, it's interesting to see um, that people from Google um, not only were the most, but they were on the site uh, pretty long. Uh, whereas people who came from Twitter are less, and the time on the site was much less. Okay, in this third report, we're going to measure the e-commerce. So we're going to call this one 
e-commerce 2011 and in the metrics we're going to put in unique purchases and product revenue and in the dimensions we're going to put in product and product category and then we're going to create the report and here we are on the e-commerce 2011 report and March 9th through April 10th 2011 now you'll see it says zero and that's basically because there is no real e-commerce on this site however um, for this tutorial purpose I created this report and um, you know so I recommend going into the custom reporting creating a few custom reports uh, be specific as possible and you can uh, find out exactly what you want to know about your visitors and where they're coming from so that it will help you um, have a successful site